if I die today, do you feel I've left you with enough? And I don't mean things. I mean, knowledge, experience, way of thinking, discipline, enough of at least of a foundation to help you through the rest of your life as a man, as a future husband and father and leader and entrepreneur. Do you feel like I've left you with enough, shown you enough, led you enough, taught you enough? And he's 12 years old and pretty much What's up, freaks? Welcome to another episode of the Steve Ecker Show podcast. And today is going to be a straightforward, hard hitting, punchy freaking episode. And we are a guest on a podcast recently. And I got a, a question that I get asked a lot. And I hear, heard lots of men get asked this question in the past and usually hear a very typical, similar response. And this episode is all about the word legacy. And we're going to dive into it. What are the actual meanings and definitions of legacy? And what does legacy mean to me? So we're going to jump into that here on the Steve Eckert Show podcast. And I just want to get really right into it. I want this to be a real straightforward, quick, hard-hitting, impactful episode. So here, before we're going to get into the definition in a second, but here's here, I want to start off with this question. And I want you to ask your kids this question, depending on how old they are. So Tyson right now is 12, right? He's my producer down there, making sure the sound is good and the setup is good and the cameras and the lighting and all that shit. He helps me out with all this stuff behind the scenes. But while we were setting up for this and we were preparing for this episode, he was helping me out with some things. And I asked him a question out of nowhere. And I've never asked this kind of question before. And it's, it's kind of was out of the blue. I said, listen, if, if I die today, do you feel I've left you with enough and I don't mean things. I mean knowledge, experience, way of thinking, discipline, to enough of at least of a foundation to help you through the rest of your life as a man, as a future husband and father and leader and entrepreneur. Do you feel like I've left you with enough, shown you enough, led you enough, taught you enough? And he's 12 years old. And pretty much immediately he said, yes. Of course, there's still more I could teach him and teach him how to be even better. And I'm learning all the time and teaching him new things I'm learning because I'm learning new things every day. But the foundational stuff is there. The foundations of the discipline, the energy, the confidence, the action needs to take, the way to be your freak self and all the things that we talk about in our family and in our homeschooling really is part of the legacy. So that asked that question and that right there confirmed what legacy means to me. And we'll get that to that in a second. But first, I want to have some notes down here. So I'm just going to look down. I wrote, that, wrote these down right before we came on here. Looked up the definition in, of legacy. I just Googled it. What is the definition of legacy? I didn't pull up any random websites, just the immediate you know, quick answer that pops up on Google. And it's sad that the first definition, it said there are multiple, it said clearly there are multiple definitions of legacy. And the first one it said is money or property left to someone by a will. That is sad. That is what even Google comes up with as the, the first number one definition of legacy of money or property left to someone by will. And then you go to the synonyms and they usually start by like, you know, the highest ranking synonyms or whatever. And inheritance, gift, offering, heirloom. These were the top synonyms for legacy. And it just shows the mind frame of where the country and the world and men are in general, when this is the top definitions and, and thoughts about legacy. And that's usually the typical shit you hear, the, the cookie cutter answers you hear about men when they talk about legacy, about leaving their family something behind and a house and a business and an heirloom and an inheritance and gift. And these are so fucking superficial and to not to me what legacy is at all. Here's some other definitions of legacy I want to just read out here to you is the money property or left someone by will. Then there's anything handed down from, to you as from an ancestor, all right? Anything handed down to you that doesn't have to mean, and to me, it doesn't mean gifts or a house or a gun collection, although our gun collection 
told Tyson recently that that gun collection of ours and it's going to be yours one day. He's like, oh shit, pretty cool. But that's not even what we're talking about. You can hand down other things. You can hand down experience and knowledge and discipline. Another definition was how a person will be, will be remembered by others. Next was a lasting impact on the world. Then we have a gift that is passed down through generations. Now a gift, most people think a gift, uh, the gun collection or some jewelry or money or a house. It's not what I'm thinking when I think of a gift. I'm thinking of a gift as in knowledge, experience, wisdom. That's what I'm thinking of as a gift. That's a much a thousand times more valuable and impactful gift than some property or an actual a gift that someone thinks of when it's money or property left to someone by a will. It's fucking sad. That's the first definition of a legacy. Then it's also personal values, accomplishment, and actions that resonate with people. I can't read my own fucking handwriting. I just wrote this down minutes ago. So personal values, accomplishment, and actions that resonate with people. Now we're talking a little more towards the internal thoughts about legacy. And then character, reputation, and the life you lead. That's really, and look, that was at the end. That was the bottom of the list. It, like you saw, it started from total superficial external and and slowly made itself to the internal when it really should be fucking inverted and shown the other way around. It really shows the priority of men these days and how the world is just operated. And so, yeah, we have in our our family thoughts of long-term goals and current goals. Those are not our legacy. So when I was asked this question on this podcast, what is the legacy you want to live? And to me, it was my legacy is not something in the future. Or yeah, we want to have this freak family compound where all of our families are all within proximity of each other and there to support each other, help each other, your own built-in freak fortress and army and neighbors and always help out with each other. And everyone is integrated together and their lives are integrated and you're constantly connecting. And we have, I have strong reasons why that's the one of the goal, longer term goals, but that is not the legacy because that's in the future. And you could talk about businesses you want to hand down and money and growth and whatever else. That's in the future. That may never fucking happen. That's why I start off with that question. If I die today. So my legacy is right fucking now. The day is my legacy to make an impact and to have that time with the family and the kids and be present and be fucking intentional with every single thing I do as a husband, as a father, as a leader, as a man. That is my legacy right now because I may get run over by a truck tomorrow. You have no clue what's going to happen. So this may be your last day. So how is your legacy going to be something that you're talking about happening in a year or decades from now? That is not a legacy. That's a hope and a dream and a wish and a goal at best. That is not a legacy. Because I need to make sure that if it is my last day on this freaking planet, that there is that legacy there. There is the personal values and accomplishments and actions that resonate with the people around you. That there is a gift passed down through the generations. That it is handed down from ancestors to my kids. That the character, reputation, and the life I lead right now, fucking today, is my legacy. Experiences, creating memorable experiences every day is the legacy connecting on a meaningful in a meaningful way every day is my legacy because and and, and you need this is why we we do journaling and reflecting you need to reflect more you need to document more cuz forgotten experiences are, are freaking worthless create those are you creating experiences every day what are you doing every day to light yourself up to get things rolling to light a fire under your ass what experiences have you wasted weaponize those experiences and that knowledge and that wisdom. Don't freaking waste it and stop expecting shit to just happen and the legacy just to be there because I hope it and dream it and manifest it. This legacy is going to happen decades from now when I might be dead long before that. And of course, that's not the plan. That's not the goal. Hopefully not. But you don't know what is going to happen today, tomorrow, or whenever. You just need to keep doing the shit you should be doing. The right things that you know you should be doing, being disciplined and consistent no matter what and expect nothing in return. Put that fucking energy that you're using into waiting and expecting 
this legacy and these goals and dreams and this whatever to happen. Put that into today. Put that into creating and building today, making shit happen right now, getting obsessed with this fucking moment, getting intentional with this moment as a man and keep freaking driving forward. It's time to fucking overdo it and get obsessed. This minute, that is my legacy. Character, reputation, credibility, respect, trust today. That's my legacy. And it's got to, of course, be consistent on a regular basis. And then ask yourself, what is success to you? Because, of course, successful man is part of the legacy you're leaving behind, that character, reputation, and credibility that we're talking about. One of the definitions that, of success was that I, that I liked, that I found, there were tons of different definitions, whatever, was success is the ability to live your life the way that you want, doing what you most enjoy, surrounded by people you love and respect. That is success. I'm going to repeat that one. The ability to live your life the way that you want, doing what you most enjoy, surrounded by the people that you love and respect. That's success. Imagine living that way right now. That's what we talk about. We say our freak freedom ideal lifestyle That is a legacy. That means doing it today, right now on your own freaking terms. That's what that's about. And four, four goals in common that everyone has is they want to be or should have as a man, healthy and fit, have awesome relationships, both personal and social relationships, doing shit that you love and work you enjoy and getting paid well while you're doing it and have that financial freedom and time freedom for your family. These are all parts of legacy that you all need to start doing right now. Otherwise, that legacy is just a fucking hope and a dream. And I think Brian Tracy, I forget what book it was. I think it was Brian Tracy talk, talked about the four freedoms that everyone, or someone talked about it. Maybe it wasn't Brian Tracy. Might have been. Talk about the four freedoms that, that every man wants. Freedom of time, freedom of money, freedom of relationships, and personal freedom. Notice this relationship keeps popping up when we're talking about legacy and success and freedom because these are all part of your legacy. Success and freedom and relationships are part of your legacy, a part of right now. That's why you need to dive deep like a motherfucker and be obsessed and intentional with them right now. I want those two words to stick in your head, obsessed and intentional. That is how you create that legacy right now today so you don't die today and then your kid's like, what the hell? We're just lost and confused. You should have a 12-year-old that... God forbid, and that's obviously hopefully not that you did die today, that they are left with that legacy already that they are carrying on and they know exactly how to operate as a man. There's a statistic, however they come up with it, says 85% of your happiness is determined by the quality of your relationships. 85%. So again, I ask, what does success mean to you? What does happiness to you? What does fulfillment mean to you? What does impact mean to you? To me, success is when your kids want to hang out with you. That's success to me. That's legacy right there. That is me living my legacy. When my kids want to hang out, they want to just go sit in the, in the jacuzzi and jump in the pool and hang out and talk and have fun and connect at all stages of their life, not just when they're little kids, but when they're adults and they're coming back and want to do that same shit. That's success. That's legacy to me, where even adults, they're coming back, coming over to do the same kind of stuff. To me, that's legacy. To me, that's infinite and eternal. And you need to make them both happen now. Every day needs to be part of the infinite, part of the eternal, part of this positive, no excuses mindset of a man. That's what we're talking about on legacy, that where you focus on possibility and potential and abundance today, right now. And of also what can be and uh, with the goal of getting better every day, because every day you can say, okay, what if I die today? So every day you're getting even better. So that legacy is just being compounded every day and getting even better and better. Your legacy is just building that character, the reputation and the life you live. These other definitions of the lasting impact on the world is getting created even stronger every day, but it needs to start today, motherfucker. You need to gain crystal clear clarity on what the fuck you really want in this life so that your, your vision and your actions and your daily tasks every day are centered around this purpose and higher calling as a man, lighting a fire under your ass every freaking day so that you can leave this legacy every day. And guess what? Tomorrow, I'm going to lead a new, even better legacy. And the next day, an even better legacy. It's just going to keep getting better and better. If I die when I'm 100, that's going to be 100 years of legacy. This is what we're talking about. And here, our life, it's, it's like our, we have a room called the Ark where we have our enemies, but really our house is the Ark. Like, What more could you 
want or need or deserve. Look around and listen and watch and fucking feel how blessed you are as a man. Open your eyes, motherfucker. Holy shit. Look at what you were given. Look at the 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 gifts around you from the world, the blessings from the world, the opportunities you've had, the potential you have, the possibilities you have around you. How the fuck could you be thinking there you even need more at this point? This is your place, where you are meant to be. Open your freaking eyes. This right now, creating this legacy today, when you start thinking this way about this obsessed and intentional living of life every day, that's like creating a, a heaven on earth already. That's creating a life you don't need a vacation from. That's creating a life people think you're lying about. That's how you appreciate this shit that you, that you have. You acknowledge it. That's your legacy. That's the way I see legacy, at least. And then going deeper and deeper and hold the freaking line and not crumble under the pressure because realize, yes, I'm going to be obsessed and intentional today. So that day of my deathbed, when it does come, you're going to want, you're going to want another saying, you will want a crowded table when you're old, not just sitting there eating alone or dying alone, whether it's today or a hundred years from now, that is a legacy. Having a crowded fucking table, not eating alone, not dying alone. And when that your time does come, whether it's today or in a hundred years, your people that you are fathering as a man, whether it's your kids or not, feel that legacy right fucking now today. That is what the legacy of a freak father is. The Freak Father Alliance is the men's mentorship group coaching program that I personally run and interact with on a regular basis, a daily basis. We have daily in- interactions seven days a week and of course meet on live on- online also and even in person on certain events where I help entrepreneurial fathers and men to develop a no excuses mindset so they can build more muscle, make more money, have more meaning so they can attack their mission to create this ideal lifestyle and legacy with time, freedom for their families. So when they get old, they're not eating alone. And on their deathbed, they're not dying alone. So if you want information about the Freak Father Alliance, just send me a DM. I want to hear from you in the comments down below. What does legacy mean to you and how are you living that today? And also just put in the words, obsessed and intentional. If you are committing to start living your obsessed, intentional legacy right now, starting this fucking moment today, and every day just gets even better and better and even bigger and bigger legacy. Put the comments down below. I want to hear about it. I will see you next time on the Steve Agger Show podcast. And in case no one told you yet today, you are freaking awesome. No excuses.